Hi everybody. Uh, happy Easter and happy spring to everybody. And I'm going to show today how to uh, dye eggs in an old-fashioned way using natural colors from onion peels. We use yellow onion peels like these. But here I have already boiled them and uh, you see the, they may they give color like that and when we boil uh, our eggs in this liquid uh, they will gain beautiful uh, red color so what i did here is i collected lots of peels i start normally like two months ago it depends how many onions you eat and uh, so i've collected a bunch of them uh, fill them with water and put them to boil and uh, boiled about 10 minutes and then they're ready we can just put take the white eggs put them here and boil them the same in the same uh, way we just boil eggs like six seven minutes and they will come out beautifully red but if we want to decorate them we might need eggs uh, also some peels, some onion peels, and uh, some pretty leaves. We can we will also try some flowers. I'm not sure if they will work, though. Also, we need um, ladies' nylon stockings. Uh, what we need is the thin nylon, very stretchy and elastic stockings. What I do is I take the scissors and cut them in pieces like this big, this big so I have pieces and I will take a thread and then I cut to, have to cut it in pieces too like this first we have to make uh, the little bags have a little sack like that and I take my egg and I will put it in the sack but if I want to decorate it I take the nice leaf and put it on the egg without my hair better and I wrap it uh, around the egg you put the leaf around the egg like that. See, and now we have to uh, to close it. It has to wrap tightly. It one, two, and I cut what's so here we have the eggs also you see I put this knot just above the egg because I will show you later when it's done uh, even this little knot will be seen on the um, on the egg so if you don't want it to see uh, to be seen you put it just on the on the leaf also you can put two leaves here it's a, a little bit more tricky when you uh, don't have skills, but uh, it's doable. So, and then I put it uh, just in the pan. Um, it should be um, uh, fully covered with water. I will uh, put some water, some more water later, and uh, it can be also buried between these. What else can we do? We can use the peels themselves to make a beautiful, um, beautiful uh, ornaments. So I take the peel, the uh, onion peel, and wrap it around the egg. But um, well, there are two ways. We I can wrap it all over, and it will have uh, some beautiful um, ornaments from the peel. But if I, uh, which is beautiful as well, you can try both. Uh, but 
that if I leave some uh, naked parts, uh, they will, that will make the better co contrast. I am wrapping it tightly to make sure that all our uh, decorations are uh, tightly attached to the to, to neck. One more thing I would like to show is, you see, I took some rice here. Actually, you can use any anything. It can be rice, it can be small beans, it can be even small macaroni, star-shaped macaroni work beautifully. I take my egg and I pour some rice inside. Uh, important thing when you're using rice for your decorations is to spread it all over because if it's like that uh, the picture which you will get would be just a um, splash of um, some uh, uh, unclear substance so what you want to do is to spread your rice to separate them and then we'll, you will have uh, nice clear dots, like stripes or dots, whatever you use. So now I just put it to, to boiling and uh, I normally put some salt in, within, uh, in it because it kind of helps to avoid um, cracking. When they're done and they're hot, I just... Uh, Take them using my spoon, put them in the hot, in the cold water, and uh, uh, cool them like normal eggs. Don't let it move. <laughs> so we want to let it go. Okay, now you can let it go, and now you can, <laughs> you like can cut onion. the long edges. Okay. okay. I don't have to. This is my son Christopher. Hello. And uh, actually that's a good thing that he came because he will show you that you can make your own design. Yes. He just cut the... Um, is it floating island? Yes. Uh, from paper. Hi drone. <laughs> Goodbye drone. <laughs> Goodbye drone. And it will make the same thing as the leaves do. So. Okay, try to... What I do now is I just take the scissors, cut it off, and we can see what happens. So, the, here Maya, the small girl, she was... Um, uh, this thing is too thin, so it doesn't give the very decent picture, but it still can... Uh, see that there's some um, plant pattern, there's beautiful flowers here. And unfortunately, Christopher's egg with his uh, pattern of, of floating island broke. He probably didn't check it uh, thoroughly. Well, look at that, and it broke. Oh, this one has a brighter color. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, and it got it, it's got very beautiful leaf patterns, as you see, and some of them were um, folded. Some of the leaf. Look how beautifully it went. They came out perfectly, better than I expected, actually. Let's see another one. This one was made by Christopher. See this beautiful leaf patterns here then the one with onion peels remember I, I, I told you I am going to leave the naked parts so we now can see the contrast and we can see all the small parts of um, the onion peel but the last touch 
what they are uh, making them shiny. Take any oil, doesn't doesn't matter which one. Put some, and we rub them eggs. And they become nice and shiny. And you can compare it. Uh, it's much shinier. And and I think they're pretty. Thank you for watching. Uh, I'm happy to share. Uh, we're from Lithuania, so and uh, in all this region of Europe, the eggs are still dyed like that. Families do that every Easter. And. Um, I'm happy you watched my video. Thank you for your like and bye!